Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about Internet Protocol. We're talking about Internet Protocol version 4. Mm -hmm. This was the first version which spread worldwide and it's still having news. Uh, it has issues. We're going to talk about this as well. But I want to show you how it's working. Actually, every host, every device inside the network does have a address and the addresses in an IP version 4 variant yeah, are 32 bits yeah, addresses are 32 bit usually written in group of 8 bit yeah. In four groups of eight bits. For instance, one one zero 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 dot, yeah, and then one zero one zero i have to look here a little bit that i one zero zero uh, missing one zero yes and then zero 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 and now zero 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 one zero one for instance that's one address huh? You cannot memorize this. So usually we are writing this in decimal numbers. Yeah? In decimal numbers. Usual in decimal. So if we calculate this, this would be 192. Dot 168. Dot zero dot and this is one and two five this is the usual representation of an of an internet address a part of this address now the first bit is called the network part okay network part First bit of the address network path. This is the defined the network. So the network has a certain address, huh? and every every address which is inside the same network they can communicate to each other okay and the last bits the remaining bits of the address is the host part So the, the, the address is divided into two parts, the network part and the host part. The first part is the network part, the last part is the host part. So if we, for instance, take, would say, this here is the network part. And this shall be the host part. How do we say this? How do we communicate this? Therefore, there's the subnet mask. Subnet mask. And I write for the network part, I always write once. Okay? One, 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 one dot one, 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 one dot one, 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 one dot. 
and now to indicate the rest is the host part, I write zeros. So here, subnet mask, subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0. So the subnet masks indicate how much of those address is the is the network part and how much is the host part. And only the elements which are inside one network where the network address, the network part of the address is the same, uh, they can com communicate directly to each other. Mm -hmm. But all hosts in a network need different numbers. So they cannot be the same host part in the same network twice. That's it. So every, every host has its unique address, network part, host part. And the subnet mask is dividing those two. If you want to go to another network, you need to have a router. Router. Then you need to handle the router, and the router is deciding where to go with the help of a so-called routing table. Uh, let's make an example. Let's say we have somewhere the internet. That's the internet. The internet is always a cloud and this is our connection to the internet. And we have here uh, an IP address. 138.62.3 dot 18. This is the World Wide Web. Right? And there's the router. And this router has a second connection to another network. It's a local area network at home, for instance. And it has here the address 192.168.0.1. So usual address. And here we have our local area network. And the address of the local area network would be 192.168.0.0 with SATMAS mask. 255, 255, 255. We could also write this, yeah? this part, yeah? we could also write with 192.168.0.0. This is the network, yeah? and subnet mask 255.255.255.0. This is one way to write it. An alternative way is 192.168.0.0. And then we just make slash and say 16. This 16 means, oh, no, in this case it's not 16, it's 24. This 24 means the first 24 bits are 1. All right? This is indicating the subnet mask. Since the subnet mask is always 1s and then zeros, you can just count the 1s. And this is 24 1s. Yeah. So this is our network 24. Okay. And all things what what we have here, we can be inside 192.168.0.0 up to 192.168.0.255. This is the, the possible addresses, so we can have 256 devices. Not really, because zero is usually not used, and 255 is usually used as broadcast. It's not longer standardized, but used. Uh, 254. So we have 1 to 254. 1 is already here. The router has 254. Yeah? And that's it. And those devices, those 254 devices, can communicate inside the network to each other with the use of bridges, with the use of hubs, and so on. This is... Uh, and let's say we have even a second router somewhere. Uh, so there is a second router. 
because we are having more than one network at home. Yeah? And this has here, in this network, we need an address. And then we could use the last one. Uh, why not? 192.168.0.254. Right? This is root to 1. Uh, this is root to 2. And on the other side, there's also an uh, interface, and there might be, for instance, 192.168.1.1. Uh, and here we have a second network, network, and this network is 192.168.1.0, yeah, subnet mask, 250, uh, 24 bits again. Uh, so here we can have the addresses 192.168.1.0 to 192, 168.1.255. So it's a totally different network. Mm -hmm. Router 2. And then we might have again a router. It has here 192.168.1.2 mm -hmm. in this network. Router 3. And here we have the next red network, 192.168.2.1. Uh, and here we have the network, 192.168.2.0 slash 24 bit subnet mask. This might look like that. Uh, and how does the routing table now? from this device uh, look like. We have here destination address. Once, once is 192.168.2.0 slash 24. We put it at this board, 192.168.2.1, this board. Okay. Once the destination is 192.168.1.0, something of this. Yeah? So if it starts with this, yeah, we put it to the board. 192.168.1.2 to this port. Then we put it out here. Right? And what if the destination is 192.168.0.024? Yeah? We put it exactly at this port. 192.168.1.2 and address Next router, 192.168.1.1. So we say, aha, I have a network, which is for this network. I will send it out here and hand it directly to the router. This router will know what to do. And if I have an address, an other address, Nothing here, another address, so 0 .0 .0 .0, uh, 0 0.0.0.0, and I have an address, then I will put it also out here and put it to here. Uh, and this router will route it to here, and this router will route it to somewhere. Yeah? This is the default, default route is always usually the last one inside the routing table. So this is how a routing table looks. It has a destination address. It has then a port where to put it, and actually, if it's already a destination inside this network where it puts out. Yeah? Here the destination address and the port, the, the destination is already the same. Yeah? Here it's also the same because it's directly connected to this network as well, this router, so it knows exactly the host inside there. And if it's not inside there, we say use this port and hand it over to this router. And this router will take further. And this is how those packets 
are routed through the network. Okay. This is how internet protocols working. Yeah. Network part, host part. We will talk about this in next video a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah. Because in the next video we are talking about this subnetting and so on, and we are also talking about uh, special addresses which we can use at home. So subnetting, we will do this a little bit more in detail. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.